The Dome is um, certainly a landmark in Vancouver. It's about 45 years old, or will be this year. The uh, acrylic panels are uh, ready to be replaced. There's a lot of cracking and leaking going on in the Dome, and uh, we're here today to uh, hoist some scaffolding beams into place to uh, protect the Dome while the work goes on. We have put together a, a very interesting team because this is a very different project. The scaffolding uh, company, West Cats, a major lift. Uh, we're going to cover the whole dome and we'll close it. We constructed the two heavy duty beams, and these are going to be flown in by the crane up to. We've got four heavy duty towers, and we're going to land that, and that's going to form the, the main structure for the roof. this for future generations and uh, get it looking as pristine as we can make it uh, as much as it was on the day it opened. When it opened 45 years ago the Bloedel Conservatory was one of the largest triadetic domes in the world and for decades it was a reliable draw but several years ago the bubble came perilously close to bursting. The Bloedel is now getting a new roof 2.4 million dollars and no easy feat when you've got a self-contained world on the wing. The inside is going to be going to be netted with fine mesh net because we have to protect the 200 plus birds and uh, the various other creatures that are in there from escaping during our replacements. Plus, we have to stop anything from coming in. For now, the netting inside will keep feathered friends within the framework. Outside, every one of the almost 1,500 convex plexiglass triangles will have to go. A lot of work cutting the domes out, removing all the mastics and tapes and caulkings and uh, replacing, and then uh, the ceiling back up is yeah, tremendous amounts of work. The project is funded uh, both jointly by the City of Vancouver and the federal government's uh, infrastructure program, and uh, largely by the city, but the federal government is a participant as well. Hopefully by the end of the summer, We'll have it in great shape again. I remember I was 13 when it opened and uh, it was the year of the moon landing and it was very exciting to see this. 45 years later, the phantasmagorical has become the familiar. But it's time. Time for the bauble on Little Mountain to be reaffirmed, reset, repolished. The jewel stays in the crown.